really quick backstory for anyone that found this video via YouTube search and aren't regular subscribers. Late 2016, I went on a trip to Cambodia with my mom and dad. That was the first time I've ever been there since I immigrated to the United States. So this video is the first in a series of videos. I basically took one day and visited all the temples in the Simbriap area. I had my own guide who, by the way, is a really good guide. His name is Lucky. He's a friend of my nephew's who is actually a driver in Simbriap. So if you're ever interested in going to Simbriap and you need a driver, let me know. I can hook you up with him. So the first temple we visited was Angkor Wat. In this video, Lucky will give us a brief history of Simriap itself and then take us on a tour of the uh, entrance and the inner courtyard. So Simriap, there are two meanings. Yeah. Siem or Sayam. And then Riap, Riap that means defeat. So defeat. Siem Riap that means uh, Siem defeat around the 17th century. So that the reason that why uh, people left and Siem Riap abandoned yeah, for uh, 250 years yeah. and then uh, in the 1850 uh, they found a Kowat yes by Cambodian and French so the French name is uh, Henry Mahut yeah. Henry Mahut yeah that he explored and Kowat so yeah. the most of the temple when we found were overgrown by the tree yeah by the tree yeah in the jungle yeah the jungle took over Vegeta uh, vegetation so the temple were built by a uh, three kind of stone, uh, sandstone, uh, laterite or lava stone, and the brick. Yeah. So sandstone, they have to cut it from the quarry with the distance is about 60 kilometers. And then they use it the, for transportation like the uh, horse cart, horse cart, elephant, and they floating by the river. Where they they cut the stone? Yeah, yeah, we cut Phnom the oh, yeah, the, the quarry, the, the name of the quarry, oh. yes, the quarry. The majority temple is must be by the sandstone, yes. So Angkor Wat that means the Buddhist city and the original name called Nakara. Nakara that means the holy city for Hindu, uh, built by King Surya Varman II from 1113 until 1150. And he built this temple uh, for uh, two purposes. Yes, so the first purpose is for his tomb, that the central tower. Yes, it's the tomb, king tomb. Yeah, and the second purpose is for dedicate to Vishnu God. Yeah, so Vishnu he was the god of uh, protection. And Angkor Wat they built with three level. So the first level is for dedicate to Brahma. Second level for Vishnu. Third level for Shiva. And Angkor Wat they built with twelve tower. Yes, each tower is representation to each man. Yeah, one tower is one man. But today it remain five towers. Yeah, the third level we will see, and you will you see also this morning. Yes. yes, like the five towers, and the central tower is the King Masulem, and the symbolic of uh, Mount Meru or Mount Everest, and then the other four tower is representation to the four direction. The symbol of uh, Brahma, yeah, Brahma with the four faces is a Hindu god. Yes. So the way to build the temple, they used to kind of block interlock like tongue and groove. Yes, tongue and groove. They were uh, interlock. Yes, interlock. And after they build the construction already, and they start carving by chisel. Yeah. So they build the construction and then the uh, carvings. And after carving, they dyed the red color. Yes, so the red color they got from the tree bark. Red that means good luck. Yeah. But now today, uh, today we will not see uh, most of the original uh, color remain because of the uh, rain was ways and then it create the other color like uh, uh, green and blacks and whites and yellows. So Uncle Wat Sai is occupied by. Uh, just say like about 200, uh, 200 hectares, yeah. yeah, 200 hectares, surrounded by the moat, yes, the moat is a handmade with 3 meter deep, yeah. it's for protection and also another symbol of ocean, yes, ocean, then after the moat is a wall, enclosure wall with 1.5 kilometer by 1.3 kilometer, and inside the wall used to have like uh, 1,000 of the family, yeah, 
living inside the wall uh, in the wooden house and wooden palace yeah. so after people left uh, the house and palace were decay, yeah, were decay so around the temple they built like a dancing hall or school or library yes and in the library they store like the books so the book were made from the palm leaf and the book were written the religious yeah, palm leaves but after we found every temple so the book gone the books missing yeah so what remain in the library is a script still so the script still is were written about king biology temple history yeah so that why now most of the new generation knew the history of each of the temple because we had learned from the script style that they store in the library yes both sides used to flanking by naga balustrade so naga is for protection the property like on the roof of the temple so you can see the bill with the snack party on the roof and then lion, they have a different uh, symbol. Yeah, lion is for chasing a bad spirit. Yeah, like usually they put flanking of the step. step, and the step of the temple they build steep. Why? Because the king want people bow, yeah, to bow to respect. Yes, yes. They build uh, the main entrance. Beside the cosplay, they build with five doors. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, visual family and common people. So that two more door, the lock of the south and the lock of the north. So these two door they build flat. Yeah. Why? Because it's for animal that they used to uh, remove the blocks. Yeah. So the the two door they build flat door. But it remains 40 50 percent. Yeah, mm -hmm. 40 50 percent. These towers, yeah, those they used to be tower, yeah. taller. It's complete, it's like it's not high, then it's a uh, it's for life. Uh -huh. It's for life. How many are, are up front here? Three, three, just yeah. three here. And then the main complex, nine, nine, yes. But the main complex today, it remains only five. only five. So that the second level, every corner tower drop. Oh. Yeah, drop, drop. Well, that is a Just naga. Drop. Yeah, drop is from the tree. So from the tree. It got removed grew. by the tree. Oh. It was 250 years, you know. Yes. Long time. So it's a long time. So look at the naga so under the palm tree. Seven head. In yeah. the middle of Paraman is depicted about Ramayana story. Yeah. It's from the Indian mythologies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Between the monkey and the demon, they fighting yeah, with each mm -hmm. other. Because the demon king he uh, uh, kidnapped the Rama Vaisita. Then the Rama he sent the monkey army to fight to rescue his wife. It's a Ramayana story. Yeah. And then uh, every pillar there you can see with the bullet hole that it got shot by the Khmeru in oh, 1975, yeah? Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. So Vishnu God, yeah? Mm. And then uh, today the, the Buddhist people, they cover the robe around his body. So that today the Buddhism and Hinduism like mix things, yeah? Mix. So all the time, when the people come to pray, the people must touching the feet, yeah? Yeah, yeah then they got a blessing yeah, from the God. And uh, some people, before they touch, they also spray the perfume or pouring the powders, yes, around here, yeah? This is a blessing, yeah? This is Lakshmi, this is Vishnu Yeah, Lakshmi. So the head and the hand, yeah? Yes, the head and the hand, yeah? stolen in the Pol Pot region. Sometimes you can see the different
color because some people they bought uh, for her sometimes white, sometimes red uh, Apsara dancer Apsara And this uh, field we call the playground outside, uh, the playground. And then used to have uh, houses in the forest there. Used to have houses and palace. And do this way. Or oh, you wanna walk there? That's, no, we can go here. It's fine. <laughs> Well, the Armenian carving, yeah, that uh, depicted about Indian mythology, Indian history, and Cambodian history yeah, on the wall and the first levels. There is a library. Yeah. It's a man library, and the other one there is the woman library. Oh, yes, yeah. different library for yeah. men and women. Yeah, separate. Two ponds, the ponds, yeah. So it's for drinking waters. And they, in the pond, they usually growing like uh, lotus and water lily. Just for decoration or can you eat? Uh, just for filtering the water. Oh. And it able, yeah. It like edible. water lily, we could eat the stem. Okay. And lotus, uh, people like uh, root, root and the fruit. All right, guys, that is it for the first part of our temple tour. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this series by clicking on the link below. Also, if you're curious about my adventure in Cambodia, I'll link that down there as well. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the big red button right over there to your left. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.